Hey guys, Pilot here, what's up? Uh, so today, the main thing I want to do is uh, just do an overview for the airline here. So what I'm doing is showing you how to sign up, uh, what you need to download to be able to fly, and then how to start your flight. Uh, so when you join FS Airlines, or sorry, before you join the airline, what you're going to do is you're going to come to our website. This link will be in the description, um, and it'll come to the join the team section. But if you do go to the home section, all you do, join the team. There you are, you're at this page. So then what you do is, you fill out this information. Um, this is for FS Airlines. You're not signing up um, on the website for the airline for the website. This is for FS Airlines. And it will sign you directly up for Majestic Airways. You select your starting airport you want. We have five currently um, that have aircraft at them. So you start in an airport that has an airplane at it. Um, you just fill out your stuff, and then you register. Um, That'll send a request to me, which I select, and I'll accept you uh, for the airline. And um, then what you need to do, once you're accepted, click Login or Sign Up. And what you'll do is you'll have to sign up if you're not signed up for the website. You'll sign up for the website, and that'll give you access to the Pilot's Lounge and to book a flight. Um, now what you can do... Once you go to FS Airlines, you'll go to Download. This link will be in the description as well. Um, go to fsairlines.net, and you need this thing to fly, uh, to be able to fly. So what you'll do is you'll just download whatever thing you have, either the Mac or the Windows, and um, you'll go to Flight Simulator and click F. I'll show you what it looks like. I'm currently on a flight right now, but and this is what it looks like. Uh, right now, I don't know how I oversped. I was under 250, so. But this is your client here and that's during a flight and right now this is a flight from Heathrow to Buenos Aires you can see I have another eight hours okay so after this when you're ready you'll go to the crew center or your account and you'll go to your profile whatever your profile is this is just my profile right now and then you'll go to book a flight now it's going to show me this because I'm already on a flight, but what it'll show is it'll say flights from whatever starting airport you're at, whatever airport you're at, um, and then it'll have a list of flights. You'll click on a arrow, and it'll be like a little check mark. You'll click on that, and that'll book that flight. Then you'll go and you'll select the aircraft, and it'll have a list of aircraft that are here, and it would be one of these, one of these aircraft here. These are all of our aircraft. Um, once you select that aircraft, you um, what will happen is it will say booked flight, and that's good. Then you'll go into FSX, and you'll start the flight. You'll click on the button to pull up the uh, client, which is usually the F key. And then you'll select flight information. That will give you all your information when you're departing, when you're supposed to arrive, the airport you're going to, and all that. And then you'll go to fly. You'll click the fly button. And you'll fill, uh, it'll bring you to the fuel up page. And you'll load your fuel. You can either load initial fuel or fuel up. And you'll probably have to fuel up because most of these aircraft don't have a lot of fuel on it, other than these two, which are flying to London and Buenos Aires. Um, and then you'll click on start flight. Once you start your flight, it'll bring up this page. And it'll have your status, uh, if the landing lights are on, the parking brakes. Parking brakes do not have them on, otherwise you'll get a penalty. I don't know why, it just happens. Uh, overspeed under flight level 10,000. You know, just all those little things. And uh, it'll record your flight. That's how much fuel I have left. Only 97,000 kilograms. Wow. And then um, that'll be it. You fly, and when you land... It'll pop up here saying end flight. You'll end the flight. You'll go through the comment section. If you want to add like a little comment saying was the flight okay, what the weather was, you know, anything like that. Anything that happened that went wrong or something happened to the aircraft, you know, anything like that. Um, and then you'll go to the page that gives you a flight report. It'll have how long the flight was, how many passengers you had, and um, the fuel statistics. Then you'll click next, and it'll bring you to the... Uh, financial report, which is how much money you earned or spent, like on fuel, um, catering, how much money you bought in from each of the classes for uh, passengers, and how much money total, and then how much money you earned from the flight based on your rank. Um, I'm going to explain that later in the video. And um, then you'll do that, you'll click next, 
it'll upload your flight report to FS Airlines and then you can come here and show all flights it'll show the last five but it'll show all the flights of the airline um, now these ones that we lost money on are actually because we spent more money on fuel to get the aircraft there than we had passengers um, it's not too bad because we made that back it, like really quick but um, these are all the flights you can go here and let's say let's look at this one click on the information button it'll give you the rating the uh, what was wrong light all of that stuff it'll give you the flight path that you took the distance you know all this stuff the aircraft type uh, this is where your comments are so let's say you landed and you had a hard landing and you wanted to put in hard landing or hard braking or whatever something like that that's what you would put in there and this is the financial report this is what you would see on that pilot client you get the tickets um, so what it is when you set a flight it'll give you the economy ticket price and it'll base everything off of that um, then you got the fuel costs that's where that is then you have the crew and catering costs then you have the cargo income then you have the bonus zero pilot salary um, zero and then the gross profit was actually the it adds everything up but it came out to 174 in the hole and then it multiplies that by a multiplier which in this case is 500 and it'll give you that um, I like to keep it at 500 because it, it um it encourages people to do better on the flights and that way we don't lose money we gain money if that makes sense so that's basically a rundown of our airline we do have ads that'll go up and stuff like that and this is our newest pilot right here he's a flight officer now and um, this is our page here so what this is this just gives you uh, like a little welcome page where we fly where we're gonna fly and these are all the reports of uh, certain things then we have our operations page. And these are all the airports we fly to. We have added a couple airports uh, to the USA. Uh, we now have something going to the USA. So we've added a couple airports there. And um, that will give you basically just that. Then you have the join the team. And you have contact us. What this contact us thing is, if you have like basically any questions, comments, or suggestions for the airline, <clears throat> excuse me, then you'll just you know email us here give us your pilot name uh, email so we can email you back do you want to reply yes or no and then your message and if you wanna um, get updates for the airline then just join the mailing list and um, you'll get any updates that we have uh, pilot lounge and book a flight are two different things that um, this is basically just pilots go here to hang out you know there's a chat section and stuff like that so um, actually I'm going to log in and just show you guys. So we'll just go through here, wrong password. Let's see. I created this website, so it should work. There we go. So this is what the Pilot Lounge is. basically has a uh, little description of what this is and then all of the flight reports and things like that then we I have the flight monitor built in so you can see all of the flights this is basically off of the FS Airlines website and um, you can go through see all the flights uh, book flights and stuff like that and we should have two for us right about Yep, right here. This is one of the pilots, and this is my flight right here. And then uh, we do have a comment section here. So if anyone wants to come in, leave comments, you know, talk with other people, chat, uh, pictures, share pictures of, you know, flight simulator. Just basically like that stuff, that's all good. And these are all of the uh, support uh, reports. And of course, it's going to say too early, route not found, or big delay because of the times we have set up. It's either the first minute of the day to the last minute of the day so 0001 to 2359 is our flight plans so we'll either leave before or after that um, looks like James diverted something happened there I remember that okay and um, it's always gonna say that it's never gonna say on time for some reason 
And um, so, yep, these are all of our uh, incomes and all that stuff. And then you have your pilot things here. So it's really cool. Um, I really like it. It's a lot of fun. And uh, I do hope to get some new pilots as well. So if anyone's looking to join the airline, just, you know, uh, follow that. If you already have an FS Airlines account, then just come on and click Join Airline. Um, so, yep. This was uh, primarily made for those who don't know what they need to do uh, to fly for the airline on FS Airlines. Um, and uh, hopefully this helped. If anyone has any other questions, uh, just go to our contact page and, you know, shoot me an email. And um, I'll get back to you as soon as possible. So, yeah, guys, thanks. And I'll see you all in the next video. And uh, this is uh, Pilot12MCC for Majestic Airways. And I'll see you later. Goodbye.